So this video, I start working on breaking down some of the techniques used to lighten up alcohol inks. So let's get started. showed in the beginning we're going to work on some techniques to create uh, lighter effects with alcohol ink or as I like to say creating softness so we're going to mess around with applying the color and being able to fade it out first and then we'll go from there all right so first thing first let me get my gloves on Bear with me, my gloves are getting a mighty bit dirty because I've been using them over and over again. Because I do not want to waste this valuable resource because they are kind of hard to come by nowadays. So, they are holding out fine. Um, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just pretty much apply, I'm gonna apply a thin bit of color and manipulate it back and forth so I kind of get a line and then we'll go off from that and that'll make it a little easier. So let me see what I can do here. First off, I'm just gonna put a line of alcohol just to give the ink some something to move on. Doesn't need a whole lot, I'm just moving it back and forth. Really pretty green. I don't know if I've used this straight on before. At the end of my video, I usually do a screenshot of the colors that I work with. So that way, if you're interested in the color, you know the, the name of the color and what brand it comes from. I'm just gonna dry it for now and then start working later. So I've got a pretty harsh line on both sides. There's a little bit of a nice fade there, but it's not about keeping that for now. It's about trying to fade it out. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. Um, one way is by simply applying a line of alcohol right near your line edge. Tip it in, kind of tip it out. Tip it in and just rocking it back and forth until you get the amount of fade out that you want. And since I'm close to the edge of the canvas already, I'm already gonna get that line that's gonna come there. A lot of times you'll see me go flick, flick with my dryer, trying to get that line off. So, and just that, and I can move the dryer back and forth to also push the ink in and out as well. I'm going to do that again over here too. Kind of close. I don't know if you can see how much alcohol I've got there. I'm going to try and see if I can shift it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move it in and move it back out. Right, I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol because I hesitated. And this stuff evaporates pretty quick. Now I'm using 91% alcohol. Of course I had a stash before this started and I haven't had to replace it yet. So I'm just tilting back and forth to get it to run off. And you can go pretty far. Go back in, 
grab a little bit more, see if I can soften that white edge, and then go back out, and let's see how far we can go here. Of course, this line, again, is gonna run, but you can see that the blend goes pretty far. Now, you can either let it dry right now, and I've got a little bitty marks there, or I can try to see if I can soften it up a little bit. This one here, I'm gonna just put a couple drops here. I'm gonna push it the ink in just a little bit, and then push the ink out with the dryer. Sometimes I can go back in, push the ink in a little bit, push it back out. And the cool thing about doing that is that you can get individual streaks instead of big areas. So I'm gonna do a couple of these guys so that you can see. You gotta be kind of quick with your dryer. So I'm working on a small canvas and a little bit of alcohol goes a long way. I'm gonna get a little bit wider section there. wiggly but you can add a little bit of alcohol to those little wiggly spots and soften them up nicely now I can either go this direction and back or I can go this way and back Going this way might leave that little bit of a circle area. Going this way might not. So we'll have to see. We're even at a diagonal. And I'm gonna choose diagonal right now. Because it'll kind of give a little bit of both. And by going back and forth a little bit, it helps minimize that little circle area there. Let me get a pen or paintbrush. So the roundness of the alcohol kind of left a little bit of an indication there. But by going back, pushing the, the ink this way, pushing the ink this way, and then going back and going a, maybe a smidge further and back this way, you still get a little sampling. Because every time the alcohol goes over alcohol ink, it reactivates it. So it, grabs a little bit of the particles. It's like a little thief. A uh, little bit of particles and drags it on out. So it's kind of like a, you know, a tug of war thing. I had the dryer up higher and so it didn't move it as dramatically but it just grabbed just a tiny little bit of it and then I was able to just do a little bitty mini tug of war and then as soon as I got the amount that I wanted then I could push it all the way out so it created that kind of a look there so I'm gonna do a little bit longer line over here just so I can show this again so fast so we will do this section again
And that time I chose not to go back in the second time because it didn't give me a nice little uh, obvious grab spot. So it was a nice blend to begin with. So I was happy with that. And just a hint, sometimes I'll have the alcohol ink bottle since I'm working with small amounts in the dryer in one hand and I could put a couple drips on it, move your alcohol away, manipulate with your dryer, pull your dryer back, add your alcohol, and you kind of do a one-two thing. But you gotta make sure each one has its turn because we are dealing with something that's flammable, so we gotta respect that. So that's one way of um, pushing the alcohol in and grabbing stuff. Two different ways of doing that. Now I'm going to do another thing here. Now I'm going to put some alcohol right at the bottom. And it's a fair amount. I'm pushing it this way. And then bringing it back down again. Do it one more time. Third, softening that area up even more but sometimes I go multiple ways so that creates different layers of grabbing and it's not as harsh it's a softer line to grab so I'm going to show you this over here because you can see a lot more color I just want to show you more of a close-up or an overhead view of what we just did there so you see how adding the alcohol really softened the edges and you can play with it you can just do a little section if you wanted you can do a whole area if you wanted it's up to you and how you use those additional techniques and then you saw this one was of course in grabbing by sections and coming out and sections that kind of thing a little dance of the alcohol to to pull, you're grabbing it and pulling it out, basically. And then this one here, you know, obviously you, you put the line in and you kind of, actually, I think I got that in reverse. I did get that in reverse. <laughs> this one was drawing the line in and then just having the stuff gradually fall off. And then this one was a push and pull thing. That's right. Okay. So have fun playing. These are just different ways that I use to lighten up the edges, lighten up the the darker spots and play with my colors a bit or use it for illustrative purposes. So have fun. All right, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video. Hey, y'all.